Hello everyone. I hope uh, all the kids and their parents have uh, carefully watched the lesson one video that I had shared yesterday. And uh, I hope everybody has understood how to identify numbers on the abacus. Okay. So in the video, I have clearly explained how to identify individual digits and then the, with the corresponding rods that we have used means whether it's a one digit number or two digit or three digit number we use the respective rods on the abacus okay this being our units place rod so to, in this exercise uh, for lesson one i'll be showing you 10 numbers either of two digit or three digits and i'm expecting all the children to write those num identify those numbers write them down on a paper and then send me the photo of those uh, answers okay so this is just as an exercise so that i know that all kids have clearly understood how to identify numbers on the abacus and apart from these 10 numbers i would request parents to um, give them extra uh, numbers to identify later on after this exercise is done for just better practice okay so that the kids get more comfortable in identifying numbers more quickly more uh, easily okay so please don't forget after if, even after this exercise is done please make them practice for a few more numbers after this and then we'll proceed to the next lesson uh, tomorrow okay now i'm sh starting with the first number please uh, identify the number means the, the children are supposed to identify the number write them down on a paper one by one and then send me the photo okay the, i'm showing you 10 numbers now The first number is this. Okay. I'm waiting for a few seconds so that the kids can identify. They are expected to identify each digit and then write down the entire number. Okay. So starting from the tens place, then the units place, identify both the digits, respective digits, and then they can easily write down the number. The next is second number is this one okay now i'm going to the third number this is the third number Now going to the fourth one. This is the fourth number. One has to be careful to identify the digit and the rod as well. Okay, which rod I have used to place a particular digit. Okay, that is very important in identifying whether it's a one digit number or a two digit number or a three digit number. Okay, so be careful with that. Now going to the fifth number, fifth number is this one. Okay, so far we have done five numbers each of two digits. Now I'm going to three digit numbers. Okay, so it will be, identification of each digit is exactly the same. It's just that in case of a three digit number, I'll be using making use of three rods hundreds place, tens place and units place. Okay, so these three rods I'll be using. So the sixth number that I am sh now showing. This is the sixth number. Okay, sixth number. Identify the number and write them down. Now I'm uh, clearing this and now I'm placing the seventh number to be identified. This is the seventh number. Okay, so now I'm clearing it and for the eighth number. This is the eighth number. Okay. Please be uh, the kids have to be careful with the uh, rods. Okay. They have to identify the digit as well as 
the rod where I have placed the individual digit so that they don't make any mistake in identifying the number clearly. Now I'm clearing this. Now the ninth number uh, I'm placing. This is the ninth number. And now I'm clearing this one for the tenth number. Tenth number is like this. This is the tenth number. Okay, so if the kids have written down all the 10 numbers, I'll ask the request the parents to please uh, click a photo and send them to me so that I can just verify whether each of the children have uh, clearly understood this uh, identification part. Okay, and apart from this, please do uh, make them practice for a few more numbers. Um, you can give any one digit, two digit or three digit number and ask them to identify so that they get more comfortable with it. Okay. Thank you.